Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about my current favorite products for my wavy curly hair. I talked about this in my last hair routine video that I wanted to do a video just dedicated to all of my current favorite products. I've never done a video like this before. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. But first, don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I guess we'll just go ahead and start out with like shampoo and conditioner. I have all my stuff in a box here. I guess we'll start with the shampoo that I talked about in my last hair routine. And that is the Wee Dad Curl Shaper Moisture Restoring Shampoo. Since I just talked about it, I won't go on and on, but basically this is just a really good moisturizing yet very cleansing shampoo that is like a really creamy gel, but lathers up super nicely and just spreads really easily, honestly. This is just the type of formula that I have been really liking for my shampoo lately. I just, like I said, like something that lathers up, is creamy, spreads easily. I'm pretty sure that not all of the Weed Ad products are Curly Girl approved. So if you are really strict with that, maybe don't go for this line, but I do have other ones here that I really like as well. Also wanna mention that I have still been loving the Verb Curl Conditioner. I talked about the shampoo and conditioner in one of my older routines. I prefer the conditioner personally over the shampoo. I still like that shampoo, but my preferences have changed just a little bit. So if I was gonna choose one to repurchase, it would definitely be the conditioner. I feel like this is really moisturizing and thick without being too heavy. So if you like something like that, definitely check out the Verb Curl Conditioner. It's a really good one in my opinion. I don't have any here with me, but I will pop some pictures on the screen. Two other brands that I like, I just wanted to mention are Shea Moisture and Maui Moisture for shampoo and conditioner. I prefer some of the Maui Moisture shampoos. I'll try to find pictures of the ones that I really like specifically for curly or wavy hair. And then as far as Shea Moisture, my favorite conditioner from them is the Shea Butter one, I think, Shea Hydrate or something like that. Like I said, I'll try to have a picture of it on the screen and link it down below, but I really like that conditioner as well and it's super affordable and has great ingredients. So those are definitely some that I wanted to mention that I just don't have with me right now. And also another shampoo is actually a solid shampoo. This is the High Bar Maintain solid shampoo and this is one i don't use all the time but i do use it when i really just want something that's kind of clarifying but i don't want to strip my hair or use anything too harsh this one is a good one because it kind of acts like a clarifying shampoo but it's not as intense it leaves this like clean tingly feeling on your scalp from the essential oils in this it has really good ingredients and if you are looking for something that is package free or if you're just really into sustainable products I definitely recommend checking out High Bar. But yeah, I just really like the shape of this and it's just a good shampoo in general. I'm trying to talk quickly because I have a lot of products to go through. Lastly, for shampoo and conditioner, you guys know I love the Pacifica Pineapple Curls. I love using these together. I like using them separately with other products as well. These are probably like my favorite affordable drugstore shampoo and conditioner that you can easily find at like Target and Ulta. They have good ingredients and they just do what I want them to do. So definitely recommend the Pineapple Curls from Pacifica. I haven't tried the other products from this line, but I definitely recommend the shampoo and conditioner. Let's get into some stylers and leave-ins now um, because I know this is what a lot of you guys are here for and then I do have some other random stuff. For leave-in conditioners, these are the two that I've been using the most. Now, this first one, Kinky Curly Not Today, is a more recent purchase for me. I've only used it a couple of times, so it may seem crazy to put it in this video, but the times that I've used it, I have really, really enjoyed it and I've been reaching for it over my other leave-in conditioners. It's like a leave-in conditioner detangler, sort of, and it's not super Super thick so it's really nice and lightweight it's a very interesting product it smells like pina coladas and it's just a really nice leave-in if you're looking for a good one this one isn't too pricey and you can find it at Target so yeah I know I haven't used this for super long but it's just one that I've been reaching for over my others so I definitely wanted to mention this one even though I really love some other leave-ins as well but then the other one that you guys have heard me talk about a lot is the Kristen S weightless shine leave-in conditioner this is a spray leave-in so it's like lightweight and it's just really easy to apply I really like this one for when I'm in a really big hurry and I just want to get some moisture into my hair because like I said it's a spray so it's just really nice and I feel like it gives me the hydration that I want I know a lot of you guys have purchased this because of me and it's just a really great leave-in conditioner you can get this at Target as well and possibly Ulta let's do a little flip over you guys know I always like to flip my hair around just to give it some more body now I do want to mention refreshers as well you could totally use just a leave-in conditioner as a refresher for your hair on the second or third day. That's totally fine. For me, I tend to go for a mist 
because it's super easy to apply and it's not anything too heavy, which you could totally use the Kristen S, but my two favorites have been the We Dad Curl Shaper Reactivating Mist and the Inner Sense I Create Waves. I talked about the I Create Waves in my last refreshing video. This one is kind of like a sea salt spray, so it gives you like that wave texture and a lot of volume and hold and things like that. It's not really a moisturizing leave-in. It's more like a refresher beach spray, if that makes sense. So texture and volume is what you're gonna get with this and a little bit of hold. And then for the Weezad one, you're gonna get more of that leave-in type of mist. It's really moisturizing and it's just gonna revive your waves or your curls. And you can just spray a little bit of this in and scrunch. You're good to go. It's not gonna give you a ton of volume or texture or hold. It's just something nice to kind of revive those curls and add a little bit of extra product back in. So I have really been liking this one. I did a whole review on this Curl Shaper line and I said I liked this, but I like the Inner Sense I Create Waves more. To be honest, they're just different products and they kind of act differently. So it really just depends on what type of product you're going for. If you want softer waves, this is gonna be your guy. But like I said, you can also just get the Kristen S leave-in and use that as a refresher and as a leave-in conditioner on your wash day as well. So that's always an option. Now for some more actual styling products. I'm first gonna talk about the two products that I talked about in my last hair routine video. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. It is in my wavy curly playlist. First thing is this Briogeo Curl Charisma Leave-In Defining Cream. I've talked about this in a lot of videos. I've used this for a really long time. This is my second bottle and I'm almost done with it. It's just my favorite curl cream, to be honest. I like other curl creams as well, but this is the one that I reach for the most because it is really hydrating and creamy and it gives me what I want in a curl cream, but this isn't a stronghold product, so definitely keep that in mind. If you want something that's really stronghold or that's gonna leave a cast, I have a gel and a mousse here that I really love, but you can also go for a stronger hold cream, like the Verb one that I talked about. That one is really thick and creamy, but I also feel like it gives you a little bit stronger hold as well. The Brio Geo one, I just love it because to me, it's just the perfect texture and what I want in a curl cream. It's really hydrating and moisturizing without being heavy at all. The perfect curl cream for me, to be honest. I love this one. And then the other product that I talked about in that hair routine video is the We Had Curl Shaper Volumizing Jelly. Again, I'm gonna try not to talk about this forever because I've talked about it in several videos and explained the texture of this product but it's basically just kind of like a light creamy gel it's not a gel because it is too creamy and not strong hold enough for that but it's also not a cream because it has that translucent texture it's just a very interesting product that is great for in between a cream and a stronger hold product or you could just use this on its own as like a one and done styler with a leave-in if you want something to add a little bit more moisture this is just a easy to use product and while it doesn't have strong hold it just gives your curls or waves just like a plump defined look so i really like this we dad volumizing jelly before we get into those stronger hold products i want to mention something that's very interesting um, a little bit different. This is the Inner Sense I Create Volume. I did a little Inner Sense video a couple months ago where I talked about this and the I Create Waves and a couple other products. These were my two favorites. Obviously, I'm talking about them in this video. I Create Volume is supposed to be a volumizing lotion. It's not a lotion, it's a clear product and it has like a slippery, jelly kind of texture to it. It's very thin, so it's really runny, but it has like a slippery, soft feeling to it. It's kind of hard to explain. This product has protein in it, so I feel like if you want a product that's gonna give you some protein, if you need protein in your hair, then this is a really good one. I recommended this to people before if you want protein in your hair. I also have another protein product here that I'll talk about in a bit. This is a very interesting product. I would use this in the same way that I would use that We Dad volumizing jelly even though it is a very very different product i would use it at the same point in my routine if that makes sense so this has some hold to it and it does give you volume it's kind of hard to explain because it adds definition but it also creates like kind of big voluminous hair check it out if you want a product with protein in it and you want to try like a different type of styler the inner sense i create volume and then my two stronger hold products here i've talked about these before these are both from the not your mother's curl talk line we have the curl talk sculpting gel and the curl talk curl activating mousse so both of these are 
really good for stronger hold totally depends on the type of product that you like personally i use the mousse more i just really really like this i feel like it gives me such defined waves and i just really like this mousse honestly i've used it a lot and there's still a ton of product in here so definitely check out the not your mother's curl talk mousse if you have been wanting to try a mousse i would definitely recommend using this on really wet hair as well as the gel but especially the mousse use this on really wet hair because that's just how it works best sometimes i feel like a mousse can get a little sticky if you're using it just on damp hair don't say i didn't warn you but i really really like this and it is not sticky at all if you use it in the correct way and then for the gel this is just honestly my go-to favorite gel this is the one that I use the most out of all of the gels that I have, so I didn't feel the need to talk about any other gels just because I really like the Curl Talk one. I feel like it has good hold without being too intense. I have used a few products that were too strong hold for me. They were just so intense that it kind of ruined my hair, to be honest, or didn't make it look how I wanted it to. So this is really strong hold without being so intense, and it's just very easy to use and the perfect texture that I like in a gel. Even though I have other gels that I like, this is my go-to. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of masks and then we'll talk about some oils and finish off with a few other products. My favorite mask that I talk about all the time is the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment with Manuka Honey and Yogurt. I also like other Shea Moisture masks as well. I don't have any here to talk about, but they have a lot of great ones. This one is just my favorite because it's moisturizing and hydrating, but you also have that protein treatment. So if your hair needs protein, this is just a really good mask. It's very thick, a little goes a long way, so you get your money's worth out of this and it's very affordable to begin with. So probably my favorite go-to mask. Now, if I want something that doesn't have protein in it, I've talked about this mask in my last hair routine video. I used it as a conditioner. Sometimes I will do that if I really just want my hair to be extra moisturized and it just needs that extra hydration. This is the pre-shampoo mask from Pros. On Pros, you do a quiz for your products, so it's not gonna be the same for everyone. It goes based on how your hair is. This is the perfect mask for me. It is a pre-shampoo mask, but like I said, I did use it as conditioner and I really like it like that as well. It smells so good. I can't even remember what the scent is called that I chose. I think it was like a citrus or something. This is just a very creamy, delicious, delectable mask and I just really, really like this. So I just wanted to give this a quick mention even though it is different for everyone based on your quiz. I can't really tell you how it's gonna be for you. Those are like my go-to masks. Like I said, I also like the other Regular masks from Shea Moisture, if you want something that doesn't have protein in it, definitely go check those out, see what might be best for your hair. Now let's talk about my oils. Um, this is probably gonna be predictable if you watch my videos because these are just my go-to like favorite oils. The first one is the Verb Ghost Oil. I've had this one forever and I talk about it all the time in my videos. It's just a really great oil. I think this is $16, so it's not expensive and you only need a little bit of this so it will last you forever, honestly. This is a really great oil. I definitely always recommend the Verb Ghost Oil. If you have a carrier oil at home, like an argan oil or an almond oil, you could use a few drops of that as well. I've done that and it works really good. If you just want to scrunch out the crunch with that, that's what I use these oils for. At the end of my hair routine, when my hair is completely dry and I have a little bit of a cast, in my hair, I will use an oil to scrunch it out and that's how it works best for me. So that's what I use these for and my oils last a really long time because I just only use a little bit. The other one is the hair oil from Pros. I talked about this in my hair routine video because it's just the one that I've been reaching for all the time lately. I haven't really been reaching for the Verb one since I got this, but that's also partly because the pump on my Verb oil broke. So it's just a little bit harder to use. This is very easy to use because it comes with a dropper and you just drop it into your hand. I use about half of a dropper full and it's just the perfect lightweight oil for me. Again, you do a quiz with pros, so it's not gonna be the same for everyone, but this is the perfect hair oil for me and I really, really like it. So if you don't mind spending the extra money and you want something very specific to you, definitely check out pros. A few other products. I wanna talk about dry shampoo. You guys know that the Batiste dry shampoos are just my favorite. I feel like they soak up the oil the best and if I shake my hair out well, I don't get a white cast with those, but I know that's gonna be different for everyone. But I do have a few other dry shampoos right now, so I haven't gone out and purchased the Batiste one because I just don't need it. I have several others I wanna go through that I feel like are good. That's just my favorite one, but while I'm here, I thought I'll mention the Playa Pure Dry Shampoo. 
This one is one that they sent to me and I've been recently using it, trying it out, and I do like it, but I don't recommend it over the Batiste one, just so you guys know. I just think this is a good one to try. It doesn't leave a white cast on my hair, so if you really hate that, how the Batiste dry shampoo when you spray it on has that white cast, maybe go for this one. I find that it soaks up the oils, just not as well as my Batiste one, but like I said, it also doesn't leave that white cast on my hair. Like I spray it on and it's just kind of clear for the most part. So yeah, that is the Playa Pure Dry Shampoo with Wild Rose Sunflower Extract. And then just a few random things. I want to talk about my scalp massager brush and my wet brush. These are two things that I use like every single wash day. I use the scalp massager brush for my shampoo to lather it up and massage my scalp and kind of like get all that build up off and it just works amazing to be honest. You can get this on Amazon for like eight bucks. And then my wet brush is a great, more affordable option than the Demon brush. This is just the wet brush pro in the hot pink color. I mean, I found this at TJ Maxx. It works really well for me. It detangles my hair super easily. And I love using this in the shower also for my masks, just to distribute everything through my hair really well. And I will also use this for my styling products. Um, if I am washing my hair in the tub and trying to get those really defined big curl clumps, I just like using a brush for that. So I have a whole video on how I get my hair to clump. And just like all my other ones, it's on my wavy curly playlist. And I always have that linked up in the cards or if it's easier for you guys to find it, I can leave a link down below. Below. These are like my two holy grails, but that is actually all of the products that I had to talk about in today's video Thank you guys so much for sticking around I know this is probably a long one because I had a lot of products to talk about if you are new here and you haven't subscribed I would really appreciate you doing that hit the red button down below and the notification bell next to it And you can also come join me over on Instagram and Twitter. They are linked in my description box I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye I don't wanna let you down. It's the